And now that you're on your Canvas calendar, click on the 14th of September to the PE0A quiz, read through the information. When you're done, click on the click here for your resources. It'll take you to this page. This page, slide two, has information regarding the quiz. The video that you're watching is going to be located in this bottom right. Slide three, that is where I recommend you as a student to click on present mode and go through these slides as if you were a student. Slide five, if you need instructions on how to activate all these different websites, please feel free to click here. It'll look like this. Slide five, I click on the image, and when you do so, it'll take you to this uh, YouTube video. On that YouTube video, uh, focus on these following questions. Uh, what is the PE? How many parts are there to the PE? Uh, what are they called? Then you'll have a whiteboard. Again, as in present mode, you'll be able to, to self-assess yourself. Slide seven, you have the link to the uh, NGSS website. It'll look like this. And you can utilize the SCP, DCI, and CCC theme. Practice that at home. Oops. On slide eight, you have the information regarding the vocabulary that we used on Tuesday or Wednesday's class. Then you'll see lesson date September 10th through 11th. This is what we used on Thursday, Friday's class, uh, focusing now on the information you need for your test. Again, if you need information how to activate the remaining items, feel free to click here. When you do so, it'll look like this. Feel free to read that on your own time. Uh, going back to this slide, when you are here, click on this image. It'll take you to the uh, reading that we used on Thursday, Friday's class. Go ahead, read through that, and I give you a focus question, which is, in your own words, what are the SCP, DCI, and CCC? Uh, here's another whiteboard activity for you to do while you're in present mode. Uh, slide 13, you have a performance expectation, and the performance expectation when you're on present mode uh, will not have the answer key, uh, but instead it'll give you the entire performance expectation and your objective is to utilize the words within the performance expectation uh, to identify what is the science and engineering practice. It's going to be one of these eight. In this case, we the words develop and use a model should be your hint to identify that the SEP in this performance expectation is number two, develop and using models. And moving forward with the next slide is the uh, interactive ed puzzle. It'll look like this on Google Classroom. Click on the ed puzzle, go through the different questions. Uh, slide 15 will be a whiteboard for you to self assess yourself. Slide 16 will be the disciplinary core idea. Again, using a uh, performance expectation without the answers, of course, when you're in present mode. I try to identify what is it that you're talking about, the content, the knowledge, the science knowledge that uh, this SC, um, that this performance expectation is referencing. Slide 17, if you have troubles understanding how to utilize Quizlet, click on the click here. It'll take you to a quick uh, YouTube video on how to use Quizlet. And then when you click on the Quizlet itself, you'll uh, be directed to these flashcards. Again, uh, the video that you have on the click here uh, shows you how to utilize the Quizlet cards. Here's another whiteboard to self assess yourself. And then again, here's a cross-cutting concept uh, page in which, again, once you're on full screen, you'll see the performance expectation without the answer key. Uh, try to challenge yourself to identify what's the point of view, what's the theme, well, how are we looking at the content or the knowledge. Um, and in this case, again, I'll give you the answer key. The words function should give you the key to identify within the cross-cutting concepts that this is focusing on structure and function. And that is it for your study session. Uh, please utilize these resources. Uh, look forward to seeing you guys on